Hey. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. We're just standing here watching the, the CNC cut some parts. Hope you had a good weekend. Welcome to the mothership. It's another Monday, Marathon Mondays, and we are in the cabinet shop. We are going to go around here and look. One thing uh, John, Abigail, and I were uh, talking about what we're going to show this morning, and you know, we were talking about marathon quality and what makes quality uh, in a coach, what, what provides that value uh, and quality in a coach. And so, you know, we we're talking about what people want to see. So, you know, uh, that's so cool to see that, John. Anyway, uh, one of the many cool parts of the cabinet shop is our router uh, that cuts out these parts. Uh, I was talking about being in the steel industry for over a decade, and this became commonplace uh, when cutting parts. But um, anyway, let us know what you guys would like to see also as we go around, because uh, one of the things, one of the things that um, is part of the Marathon Monday show is wanting to see you guys letting us know what you want to see. I'm going to go over a few things today um, that really show me quality here in the cabinet shop. We've spent some time in the cabinet shop, uh, so stick with us. We're going to look everything from um, the woodworking and laminate, but it's things like this. A lot of time and effort goes into getting this stuff right. This is the this is the nightstand cover for Coach thirteen sixty one. Um, grain match to each other with Colombian walnut. So, one of the things that really stands out about these notes that go on to this part, and this part was custom built. You can see it here with this round radius. This is a real quality piece. Uh, and it's going to be laminated with that uh, Colombian walnut color. But the biggest part is grain matching. Grain matching, and here's other parts for 1361. Grain matching is so important because when you're looking at a, at, at a room, not so close up, but from far, you want to see that everything flows together. And part of that is the grains on this laminate. And here we are right here in the laminate shop. You can see this piece. This is for uh, Coach 1368. There's another piece down here, uh, one of the walls for the showers that we're gonna look at in a little bit um, that I wanted to show you, but I love this laminate. This is a high gloss gray color uh, in the wood tone. And you guys know that we take a lot of time when it comes to uh, doing the laminates because like I mentioned earlier, grain matching is so important and also getting the application correct. Thanks for letting us hang out. <laughs> That's it. That's right. So what you can see right here, here's that laminate we were just looking at. All these laminates are currently being used. Very cool. Well, let's talk about the quality here in our cabinet shop. And just from this angle right here, you can see where we were earlier is the CNC router. That's what cuts out all the parts that come from engineering. So that cuts the parts, they're barcoded, put together in a kit, and they come out here. Let's go take a look. Sean, I'll let you pivot around this way. And you can see behind me that these guys are building some of the pieces that are going to go into coaches. Those kits come out here and they're assembled kind of like this one right here. This is the bedroom upper for coach 1368. Also going to have that beautiful gray color. But look at how much goes into this part. It's got all the blueprints for the part right there. There's radiuses. There's screws, there's glue, there's staples. Everywhere it needs to be done properly, it's done. So not just gluing and stapling parts like some manufacturers, but you will see that there's a lot of uh, uh, screws in here too. And the design is basically set up 
so that it'll last for a long time. That's a cool part to take a look at. So from here, it goes to a holding area to be laminated. Let me show you that. Take a look at all of this. This is kind of the boneyard, if you will. This is where cabinetry has been assembled and it's ready to be laminated. This creates a bottleneck for a reason. By design, this area is a bottleneck of our production floor because it's so important to get the laminate applied properly, not just applied properly with adhesive and correctly done, but the grain matching, making sure aesthetically it looks correct. Galley lower for the 1368, the bedroom rear wall for 1364, salon magazine rack for 1364. What else we got in here? But it's really important for you guys to see this that this is why a coach takes a long time to build because we don't wanna just put laminate on wood and call it good. Oh, that was a rhyme. Laminate on wood and call it good. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure that it's done right. Uh, these coaches, they're, they're designed to go for decades, so you want the house built to also go for decades. Really cool. But if I'm uh, not showing you guys something you wanna see, let me know and we'll, uh, We'll go out there and find it, find uh, something that you might want to see. If you've got any questions, throw them our way also. Now, you saw the laminate shop down there. I'm going to show you a piece down here for, uh, I believe it's 1368 again. Look how beautiful this is. Now, this is the shower wall for 1368. So this is an insert, this, this, this uh, cutout right here is where an actual framed picture will go uh, because this is a, a moving door. Now here's the deal. One of the notes that you'll see, and you won't see it because I'll read it to you, but it says, note, laminate after test fitting in the coach. So if you take a look at this backside, the backside is not laminated. And that's because what we wanna do is we wanna fit it into the coach and make sure that it's gonna properly fit and then we'll laminate that back portion of this wall for the shower in 1368. But this really stood out to me this morning because the quality of this piece and the effort and time it takes not only to match all this grain as John is showing you right there, but there's a couple of things that really stood out and that's the notes. We're not going to laminate it completely until we make sure that it's applied into the coach correctly. But also think about this. This wall needs to be needs to be removable. This wall needs to be able to come out and serviceable. And there's another note in there that says the wall panel must remain removable after floor is assembled in that coach in 1368. So that's important from a standpoint of servicing either the floor or servicing this door because it is part of a movable pocket door for the shower in 1368. I think we have a question while we're standing here. So Abigail's gonna throw a question. We're gonna turn around here, John, and we can show everybody the dinette. I think this is the same coach. I think this is also 1368's uh, dinette. Uh, Abigail, you got a question for us? Yeah, um, so Jonathan Jewell, uh, I think he's looking in the background of this giant shop. Sure. He says, what are all the box fans for? <laughs> <laughs> it gets the, warm in here, right? Yeah. Jonathan Jewell, uh, a good friend of the show, and I appreciate his question, coming out of Vancouver, Washington, I believe, a uh, guy I know quite well. Uh, the box fans, um, there's a couple of reasons we've got those box fans, but it's definitely to cool the room down uh, and keep the air circulating. Good question. Um, good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are quite a few, but there's always work going on in here. Uh, Robin Heron, any coaches available for sale? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Robin, email me. Um, also a guy that I know quite well. 
M-A-L-W, malw at marathoncoach.com is my email. Reach out to me. Watch it back there, John. Uh, and uh, we do have a couple of coaches for sale, mostly pre-owned and a couple of consignments. So, Robin, if you're uh, in the market, uh, and I know you've been looking for a coach for quite a while, reach out to me. Let's go this way, John. This Let's is just a, a good comment as you're looking at things. Uh, Brian Zinkum said, so pretty much if you can imagine it, y'all can design it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Brian brings up a good point. It, yeah, if it, it can be designed. And this building has been very creative over over the almost 30 years we've been in this building. Uh, what is it, 28 years? Um, a lot of creativity comes out of here. You know, uh, the, our R&D engineer who used to be our lead engineer, Jay Graham, uh, absolutely creative person, working constantly on pushing the envelope. Um, I kind of call him the Carol Shelby of the RV industry because he is constantly trying to get better, trying to push the envelope of what can be in a coach. But you can't just bring anything to market. You can't just say, okay, well, I want you know this or I want that. It has to work for the owner. It has to work for the industry. It has to work for the coach. So um, that's one of the things that Marathon does very well is our engineering department does a lot of bringing things to market that are that are applicable to that coach and to the owners of the coach, but also will will stand the longevity of that coach. Very important. I love this stuff. You guys know that every time I get a chance to show off our engineered leather that lines all of the inside of our cabinetry. This is just a couple of colors. Uh, this is a very bright white, and this is kind of a grayish taupe. Very cool. Instead of being automotive carpeting, uh, we do it with this really nice engineered leather, uh, which is another way of saying uh, half, half real leather, half it's synthetic. Uh, more questions? Yeah, Abigail's got more questions. We're going to walk this way uh, through the cabinet shop. Um, Brian Hubbard asked, has Marathon ever done a carbon fiber interior? Yeah, uh, Brian asked a very good question. Carbon fiber interiors, yes, we've done carbon fiber as far as a um, an accent, an accent in the cockpit for sure. I think you may have seen that a couple of times or more. But uh, we've done carbon fiber accents in the cockpit everywhere from the entry handles, from the door entry handles, uh, all along the cockpit. But it's definitely possible. If uh, someone wanted a custom coach with carbon fiber walls, carbon fiber, you know, I mean, absolutely. I'm sure we could do it. I'm sure we could do it. Real quick, Mel, someone else asked, how long before American Eagle finished? I'm assuming they mean that coach with the... Yes, Patriot. that's oh, Coach yeah. 1366, the yeah. Eagle Coach. Uh, that coach is going to be done in probably around a month, and we will be bringing you updates on that coach. There's a lot of people that want to see that coach. That is Custom Coach 1366, and I know the owner of that uh, Custom Coach is very excited to see it also. So we're going to walk through this way. One of the neat things you'll see right above John here is – that is the entry door up there to the sofa palace. So upstairs, that's where a lot of the fabrics and larger pieces for um, our, uh, our sofa and our chairs get assembled up there, but they literally forklift items up there. Very cool. Let's boogie this way. Here's some more parts, 1366, uh, to mention the Eagle Coach. Um, that's a part right here. These smaller parts, they're going to be laminated also. Oh, this is cool. Take a look at this. So this is the Plumbing Bay wall, um, the cabinetry for Coach 1361. And you can see it's been, it's got this tape over it to protect it. But uh, this is just a, a really cool thing to see. This is the part that is in front of your plumbing bay. Uh, and it's an X3, 1361 is an X3. So this is on the driver's side. And it's basically just a cabinet door. So it doesn't need to be heavy, but it needs to be robust enough to last 
and be good. But take a look at this. It's not just about laminating the side that everybody sees. And the inside of the plumbing bay, after you close this door, no one's gonna see the inside, but we still laminate. We don't paint or we don't just go cheaply on the inside. This is the inside of that cabinet that no one's gonna see the inner workings of your plumbing bay. But I like the fact that Marathon takes the time to laminate even the inside of a cabinet door because we very easily could do something like this. This is actually the ceiling, uh, like a ceiling piece uh, inside uh, one of the bays. But this is a really good, this is, it kind of looks uh, carbon fiber to go back to, I think that was Brian's question, but this is uh, uh, the, uh, basically a ceiling panel inside the, under the bay in the basement of Coach 1362. Very cool. John, let's go this way. You've got any other thoughts or questions? Yeah. Abigail's laughing, so I would yeah. assume there's some. Oh, yeah. You guys are asking me the uh, good stuff today. <laughs> Our friend Ron DeMario, he said, Mal has done live for quite a few years. I've yet to see any bloopers. Is there a blooper series that will be coming up? So here's the deal, you guys. I've got a background in public speaking. I've been, I've been an announcer at the University of Oregon for many years, which I don't do it anymore. Um, but for many years, I was an announcer at the University of Oregon. And, um, you know, I'm pretty good at just off the cuff speaking. But as far as bloopers, my whole life is a blooper. <laughs> Scott Runkle would, would agree with me as he walks by, but my whole life is a blooper. So it's okay. And that's kind of the cool part of this show is being able to bring it to you um, unscripted, bringing you this show and showing you Marathon Coach unscripted behind the scenes every single Monday. And that's why I love doing this. And that's why when I came to Marathon five years ago, I, I enjoyed doing this show because I like watching video videos and podcasts. And I'm like, there's people all over. Uh, I sounded like a Valley girl. And I'm like, there's people all over the world that love luxury RVs. And I think they deserve to see um, kind of the behind the scenes. And Marathon Management and ownership uh, uh, luckily agreed with uh, the plan. And um, our marketing team uh, has been awesome to work with me uh, for that long and show everybody kind of the behind the scenes of Marathon. And the, the things like this, an unfinished piece, you know, some manufacturers wouldn't show you um, uh, behind the, the laminate. They wouldn't show you you know, a coach that's unfinished. It's like buying a car from a car dealership when it just came from auction and it's still got marks from the kids, uh, you know, stuff in there. And it's, you know, it's, it's, you don't want to show that, but we show that because we stand by our product. Now, this is something that Mark in our cabinet shop, Mark, you were working on this, weren't you? Yes. What a coinkity. What a coinkity. Come over here and talk to me, brother. <laughs> Should I get the mic? Yeah, let me, get, let me grab that mic for me. We're, this is part of... Are we, are we working there, John? Excellent. Okay, so, Mark, how long have you been with Marathon? Uh, since 7 o'clock this morning. So, yeah. <laughs> that's accurate. Yeah, that's, that's accurate. No, a year. Oh, uh, just about a year. A year, too. Wow, years. time flies. Yeah, it has been. It feels like... But I've always been here. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, talk to us about... Because I see you working over and I see you working on these pieces, the quality of them. Uh, talk to us about marathon quality when it comes to the cabinetry. I'm going to kind of put you on the spot here. And that's one of the things we're talking about is these chassis are designed to go for decades. And the cabinetry is designed in the same fashion. Yes. Yeah, they are. They, uh, what I like about them, too, they're designed to, to last, to fit the chassis, do what we need to do. But it's also set up easily to remove yes for easy access for if it, uh, if it comes in for service they know what to do they can take it out and they can put it right back in exactly the way they took it out we were just looking at a shower door uh, yeah. down there that you know it literally has notes on the blueprint to say hey we need to remove it needs to be designed to remove uh you know for flooring or for access right absolutely the whole uh, 
to me, the whole coach is is almost like a, a Legos. Sure. It, everything snaps in, puts together. And the, I just love it. The customer does not see what we see. You're and, right. And you've seen it from the beginning. Absolutely. To, and when it's at the very end and it's all beautiful, it's like, yeah, you should see what's behind all that stuff. That's really cool. And another thing that stood out right before we went live, I walked by here and I saw this part. And I assume you were working on this yeah. part yep. since this is your area. The barcodes that are on each part that you assembled, I assumed all these parts were cut on the router down here. Yeah, CNC machine. And then uh, you picked them up and assembled them in here. And, yep. and uh, there's different woods in here, everything from balsa blends yeah. to um, maybe for, some apple wood. Right, for structure. The apple ply is a little on the heavy side. We'll use that in different areas. But this is easy to work with, but it's, it's really, really strong, really strong. That's great. Even though it's lightweight. Yes. It's lightweight. That's the main thing. We're really conscious about, you know, loading up the bus as far as weight. What a nice piece. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, we were just kind of snooping around your area and I, and I appreciate okay. you walking up. I know you've been here longer than I have. You can snoop all you want. I, I'm just the new guy. <laughs> Thanks, brother. You bet. <laughs> well, and that's the beauty of Marathon Mondays right there is where we can go grab one of our talented craftsmen and just pick his brain about what he's working on and what he does each day. Here's another really cool piece, John. Wow, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Anyway, it's really cool. I'm not sure. But anyway, so yeah, big thanks to Mark for letting us jump in there. But that's what this show is all about and that's why I love doing it and appreciate you guys watching and appreciate everything that we do uh, from a marketing team uh, and a sales team to be able to show you guys uh, behind the scenes. That's what we do. We have an open book for the customers. And the show's number one reason is for, the number one reason for Marathon Mondays and why I wanted to do this five years ago is for the people that are trying to make a decision, should I buy a marathon? This is what the show is designed for. It's like when I watch a Disneyland video or listen to a podcast about watches or about cars or about the things that I'm interested in. If I'm thinking about going to Disneyland, I wanna know what's going on at Disneyland, but I'm a thousand miles from there. So I listen to people and watch their videos when they're there uh, once a week, twice a week, same thing with Marathon. My job when I do this show is to help you decide why you should buy a Marathon. And I think we illustrate that every single week, or at least we try to. So any other uh, thoughts or questions before we uh, boogie down productions on this Monday? Yeah, uh, first off, I mean, the blooper thing that we talked about was hilarious. And yeah, the blooper. Ron, Ron said, uh, thank you. And he says, you're great at what you do. So we appreciate well, I, it. And I appreciate Ron and, and everyone else who supports this show. I love doing it. It never gets old to me. Um, I, I, have, I have some shows are better than others, but the bottom line is every single week, uh, I love bringing you guys uh, an aspect behind the scenes here at Marathon. And um, our friend Brian Hubbard, he's asked a few questions. Um, he had a specific question about last week of the new Prevo model chassis. And so uh, you might want to get with him on that. Yeah, okay. You know, the new Prevo stuff. We're in yeah, Brian, email me. I'm not, yeah. sure, I'm not sure what he's making reference to. Uh, everybody, thank you so much for watching this show. Have a good week. It's going to be it's going to be a busy time here in Coburg, not just like right now. It's real quiet because it's break time here on the production floor. So um, but it's really busy here at the mothership. We've got deliveries. We've got coaches finishing. 1361 is about to come off uh, this guy right here. We're not going to show it, but 1359 is going to come off. Uh, well, we could I guess we can show because yeah. that's what we do. 1359 is <laughs> coming off. 61 is coming off uh, uh, the American Eagle coach. 1366, that guy's gonna be finishing up here pretty soon. But also, the uh, world the world championship track and field events are happening here in Coburg, uh, Coburg, in Eugene, yeah. um, over the next couple of weeks. So right now, the, the women's marathon is just finishing. Uh, the men's marathon was this weekend. So 
uh, there's a ton of things going on in our community. So it's a busy week here. I think Abigail's got one more thing for one me. One last thing, yeah. Robin Heron says, uh, actually, no, I just got another question. Sorry. <laughs> Does Marathon do any other RV shows other than Tampa? Uh, that is great. Marathons, we've got the best sales group in the industry, okay? Those, and I'm part of that team. The eight of, I think there's eight or nine of us. We go all over the nation. We go where people are buying coaches. Right now, a lot of the coaches that are being built are sold custom coaches or, or the designer choices or the hybrids. They're all sold because that team from Florida, Texas, and here at the Mothership in Oregon, we are all over the nation. So yeah, absolutely, good question. It's a lot more than just going to the Florida show. The big show for us is at the local RV park. It's up in Michigan at Hearthside Grove. It's, it's at um, Mountain Falls in the Carolinas. It's in Indio at Motor Coach Country Club Outdoor Resorts Indio or Desert Shores on Avenue 48. It's in Polson, our, you know, probably the best view. I mean, the, the Polson RV Park has one of the best views overlooking that lake. Uh, if you have never been to Polson, it's not a big park, but the view is big. So we are all over and uh, yeah. As far as like actual trade shows, uh, we do a few of them throughout the year. The Florida ones, the Prevo show, or uh, those are probably the largest. But the big show is getting out there into the RV parks and showing people that are RV owners uh, these coaches. Okay, I think I think this will be our actual final question. Uh, Ralph Sellers says. Can you describe the final process of quality control before a vehicle is delivered to their customer? Who asked that question? Uh, that was Ralph Sellers. Thank you, Ralph. That's a great question. It is a good question. Let's walk this way. So quality control is one of the most important things about building a coach. When you buy a production coach, uh, a production RV, also known as a fiberglass RV, just a different chassis, a different build, a different brand. Not all of them are quality control checked. Every single marathon that comes out of this building is quality control checked. Every single one. And we've got a very experienced head of quality control, Vern Huber, and him and his team go from top to bottom through that coach, and you'll see him. He's in his office. We're not going to bug him in there, but uh, that's the quality control office right there. That team goes through the coach top to bottom, left to right, north and south, east and west. They take it on test drives. These, these things are checked. That doesn't mean they don't roll out of here with issues. This is a rolling 45-foot home, a luxury home, in 45 feet on wheels. So do we try to eliminate issues? Absolutely. Do we try to make sure that they roll out of here perfect? Absolutely. Does it happen every time? No, it doesn't. But we do an extremely good job at checking those coaches prior to the owners taking them, prior to delivery, prior to them leaving the plant to make sure that those issues are fewer than most. And I will, I will say our quality control team does a great job of that, um, and everything is documented. And then once they find issues with the coach, it's worked off. It stays here on the production floor until all of those issues that they found during the quality control uh, portion is worked off. Vern, how long does a quality control check take? Week and a half? So about a week to a week and a half. So usually about a week and a half it takes to quality control these give or take. I've seen some take over two weeks, you know, because the work off needed to be more significant. Anyway, that is a great question, Mr. Sellers. Thank you so much. And a big thanks to Vern for letting me blow his uh, office up. Other than that, you guys, I think that's it for the week. 
I, like I said earlier, I love bringing this show to you. The bloopers are, are every show. Um, but that's the beauty of being live on Facebook. And that's why we chose this medium. Um, when I first came to Marathon, I had been watching some Facebook live videos from Disneyland. Uh, my family and I love going to Disneyland. And so we were watching these live Facebook videos where a guy just, you know, is holding the camera and he's live showing hundreds of people. And so picking the Facebook live was a really cool way to interact with you guys, um, whether you are looking to buy a marathon, you own a marathon, or you're never gonna own a marathon, but you support and love what we do here. So a big thanks to all of you um, and also to our YouTubers. This show will go to YouTube today or tomorrow and uh, YouTube is a big thing. I can't buy, I, I can't buy a ham sandwich without doing research on that ham sandwich on YouTube. YouTube is an amazing thing uh, and it's been a really big thing for Marathon Mondays because this show goes straight over to YouTube. So to our YouTubers that support the show, a big thanks to you guys also. Be yourself and do good things. I'm gonna get out of here because I think Kurt Nelson is about to walk by. Oh, there he goes, he's out. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Have a good week. I'll see you next Monday. If you're looking to buy a coach, I'm your guy. Mal W at MarathonCoach.com. If you're in Florida, go check them out. If you're in Texas, go check out Dennis down there. But if you're here at the Mothership, come see me. I'll take you on a tour and show you why Marathon is the best in the industry. Take care, you guys. <laughs>